I'm going to talk to you guys about energy. And in particular, we're going to be looking at basal energy expenditure, or BEE, -E, also known as resting energy expenditure. And this is measuring um, our basal metabolism. So our basal metabolism, I like to think of it as our baseline. Um, if we, or if we think about resting energy expenditure, if we laid in bed all day and we didn't do anything, we didn't stand up, we didn't eat, we didn't exercise, um, this is going to be our basal metabolism. So our basal metabolism, there's a lot of different percentages out there that say different things, um, but basically it's the majority of our calories that we burn, our energy that we use. So, um... Here in Ingman, she says 60 to 65, or sorry, RD Secret says 60 to 65% of our um, energy is used for basal metabolism, so for basic functions. Um, and sometimes that can be a lot more, but idea is that it's the majority. Now, what are some other things that um, we burn calories or we use energy for? And that is obviously activity or exercise. So that might be standing, that might be working out. Um, this is probably the one that varies the most because you might have somebody who sits all day and studies, or you might have somebody who is running around, has an active job, does triathlons, does marathons, a lot of variance in the activity level there. And then the other thing is the thermal effect of food. Basically, when we eat food, it takes energy to digest that food. So... Those are our three ways we use energy is basal metabolism, thermal effect of food, and activity. The most that's varied is activity, and the most that is used, 60 to 65% is basal metabolism.